Hello, my dear friends. We are going to be looking at how to express this function as a Fourier series. So this is a piecewise function, uh, f of x is equal to 3, uh, with values of x ranging between 0 and 1, f of x is equal to negative 3, for values of x ranging between negative 1 and 0. This is a periodic function with period 2, because if the function is written like this, f of x equivalent to f of x plus 2, then this becomes the smallest value uh, for which f of x is equal to f of x plus uh, that value, and this is called the period of the function. So period t is going to be 2, because you can even see it from 0 to 0, and we are moving from 0 uh, okay, ranging from negative 1 to 1, if we can be specific. So this is how the function looks like. If we plot it on a Cartesian graph, we have 1 and we have negative 1. So we are told that uh, it is ranging, it is actually going to be negative 3 uh, between 0 and negative uh, 1, and it is a 3 uh, between 0 and 1. So the function looks like this. This is f of x, and this is x. So when you look at this function, you see that it's symmetrical about the x-axis, and that makes it makes it an odd function. Or if you want to see if it is even or odd, put in a value f of negative x. What does it equal to? Put in, um, for example f of negative a half. What is f of negative a half when you look at it? A half ranges, uh, is between uh, negative 1 and 0. So the function is negative 3, is equal to negative 3. So that means this is an odd function. Because, why odd? Because we are saying f of uh, x negative is equal to negative f of x. So, what does that tell us? Tells us that uh, since it is a periodic function, to get this f of x, this is going to be expressed as a Fourier series, and then it is going to be sum from n is equal to 1 up to infinity of a sub n cos n pi x out of r plus sum from n is equal to 1 up to infinity of b sub n sine n pi x out of r. And r is defined by the interval uh, negative r to r, and we can see that our interval is actually negative 1 to 1, so meaning r is equal to 1. Then the period t is equal to 2. And uh, usually also uh, this r is equal to t out of 2. So r is equal to 2 out of 2, and this is equal to 1, which is also very true. So let's proceed and look for a naught. We have already said that this is uh, 1 out of 2 r, negative r to r, f of x with respect to x. We said this is an odd function, and therefore we can equate this to 0. We can test it. So we have a naught equivalent to 1 out of 2, Integrating from, um, uh, if we integrate from, for example, 0 to 1. 0 to 1, the function is 3 with respect to x. Then plus, uh, then uh, integrating from, um, from negative 1, okay, 0, the function is, is a negative. So what we can do is actually saying this is negative, negative what? Negative 3x. So this is going to be a first of all a half into 3x from 0 to 1, okay? Plus uh, a negative, let it go out. We shall have 3 integrating from, this is 3x integrating from negative 1 to 0. So this is going to be 3 plus, then we have, uh, this is 0, uh, this is going to be minus, this is uh, 0, 
then minus minus three. So remember this is a half. So this is a naught and this becomes what? A naught becomes one out of two into three minus three and this is equal to zero. So we can see it is true if we are integrating an odd function over a symmetrical interval, then we shall have zero. And this is a very important property that is very consistent. Very consistent and it also informs us of uh, orthogonality, but the orthogonality now works with a function and a function. So let's go to a sub n. This will be one out of r generally, integrating from negative r to r, f of x cos n pi x out of r with respect to x. We said r is equal to 1, so this is going to be a sub n is equal to 1 out of 1, integrating from a um, uh, negative 1 negative um, r, okay, negative 1 to 1 of f of x. This is, um, remember, this is an odd function and this is an even function. This is odd. So what is that going to give us? It's going to be integrating an odd and odd function. So over a symmetrical interval, this is also equal to 0. We don't waste time there. Let's go to b sub n. Uh, 1 out of r integrating from negative r to r, f of x sine n pi x out of r with respect to x. So b sub n, this is going to be 1 out of 1 integrating from negative 1 to 1. Then f of x is an odd function, okay? And this is an odd function out of 1 with respect to x. So this are not equal to zero because this is going to give us integration of an odd function. I mean an even function. So it will not equal to zero over uh, a symmetrical interval. So let's proceed and look for it. So B sub N will be uh, integrating from negative one to one of, um, this is going to be F of X. So F of X from zero to one, and that is going to be three. Then sign n pi x with respect to x plus integrating from uh, from uh, zero from negative one to zero of what of um, minus three sign n pi x with respect to x. So b sub n this is going to be three cosine n pi x but which is negative out of n pi so from uh, 0 to 1 then we are adding this is negative uh, 3 so it becomes a positive 3 okay uh, then cosine n pi x out of what out of n pi from negative 1 to 0 b sub n will be what this is going to be uh, cos n pi minus 1, negative 3 outside there. Then we also have, we have 3 into, this is um, 1 minus, cos, remember this is out of n pi, this is out of n pi. So cos minus cos, n, you know cos 0 is 1, but cos n times 1, that is cos n pi n pi times 1, we get cos n pi. And this is out of n pi. Because the cos of a negative is always a positive. So this b sub n, if we do some small manipulation, we have negative 3 n pi cos n pi minus 1, then plus minus 3 out of n pi into we now make it like this. So this and that are the same. So what I will do, I will have b sub n is equal to negative 6 out of n pi. This and that, we just add as usual. And we have cos n pi minus 1. What is this going to be? This is going to be uh, negative 6 out of n pi into negative 1 power n minus 1. That becomes the case 
then we shall start deducing. So Bn is equal to 0, 4, n is equal to an even number, and Bn is equal to um, negative 6 times negative 2 out of n pi, that is uh, 12 out of n pi for n being an odd number. Therefore, f of x is going to be, we said a naught, a sub n, or a equal to zero. So we shall have sum from n is equal to one up to infinity of bn. bn is 12 out of n pi. Uh, first of all, uh, this is for odd values. Okay, for n is equal to odd. Then we shall have, remember this is, Carrying a sign n pi x. That means n is equal to odd values, but the proper one uh, will be f of x is equivalent to. You can look at uh, this component. Uh, let's first look at it. What is uh, b sub n? b sub n is uh, going to be 12 out of pi into uh, 1 out of uh, 1 plus 1 out of 3, plus 1 out of 5, plus 1 out of 7. Because we said n has to be an odd value. So meaning bn will be 12 out of pi into uh, 1 out of 2n minus 1. So what does this say? Uh, so f of x will therefore equal to integrating, I mean summing from n is equal to 1 up to infinity of 1 out of 2 n minus 1. Uh, remember you had uh, 12 out of pi, then times sine 2 n minus 1 of pi. So that means this is very valid for Values of n ranging from n is equal to 1 up to infinity. So this f of x equivalent to whatever we had up there, 0 less x less 1, negative 1 less x less 0, is approximately equal to that.